Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be making a simple bar using ANSYS. This is a simple bar. It has 1000 mm length. Left hand side is fixed and the right hand side has a force acting which is 1000 newtons. The cross sectional area of the bar is 500 mm square. The Young's modulus E is nothing but 2 into 10 power 5 newton per millimeter square. The theoretical answers will be discussed later. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be making a simple bar using ANSYS. For making a simple bar, first we'll go to File, Clear and Start New. Do not read file. Okay, so everything is cleared. Click on Yes. Go to Preferences. Go to Structural. Okay. Go to Preprocessor element type add edit delete add it go to link 2d spar 1 click on ok close the file go to real constants add edit delete click on add ok the area of the element is 500 mm square 500 ok close Go to material property, material mode, structure, linear, elastic, isentropic. The Young's modulus is 2e5, that's 2 10 power 5. And the poison's ratio is 0.3. Click on OK. Go to modeling, create, key points, inactive CS. Two key points are required. First one is nothing but 0, 0 apply second one is 1000 in x direction so type in 1000 over there okay key points now create lines so let's click on lines lines straight line first point second point okay let's close it minimize it it's mesh it, mesh, mesh uh, size control, manual size, lines, pick lines, click on the line, click on OK. It is 10, that's the number of divisions, OK. Let's go to mesh tool, mesh, click on the whole line, click on OK. Now meshing is done. Let's give loading. Go to load, define load, apply, structural, displacement on key points. The first key point. Okay. All DOF. Okay. Let's go to force and moment on key points. Let's click on the key point. Okay. The amount of force acting in FX direction is 1000. Click on OK. Let's go to solution. Sol current LS. Solution is done. Now let's go to general log post processing. Element table. Define table. Click on add. Go to the last one by sequence number ls1 okay close it now let's go to plot result contour plot nodal solution it is dof solution x direction okay there we got 0 0.01 that is the deformation Next, we'll go to element table, ls1, yes, average, let's click on OK, we got 2, 2 is our stress value, that's a stress value, now, let's go to list result, reaction solution, first one, oh, there it is, the total value is minus 1000, that is the reaction value, so we got our displacement stress and reaction value 
Thanks guys for watching. See you again.